So hey, how you doing? This is Tony, the Geeky Agent from Remax here in Binbrook, Ontario, Canada, part of Hamilton, Ontario, Canada, the most lovely place on the face of the earth. Um, I just found out about a new feature. It's actually not even a new feature. It's a really old feature. I just didn't know about it on my Android phone today. And so I am going to share it with you. There is a very similar feature on our Apple iOS system. I don't have an Apple iOS system so I can't show you but I will endeavor to get one available and show you the video from that one. It is very similar though so you can probably go about the same sort of steps to get it done but basically it is an SOS feature on your phone so if you ever find yourself in a situation where uh, you need some help um, you can use this feature. It's a silent feature on your phone and it will automatically uh, contact uh, basically a, a whole number of different people that you add to your contact list. It will send them photos and audio files of what's happening at that moment as, long as, as well as a GPS location so they can find you. So you can use it for yourself. I'm a real estate agent. I know within our industry safety is a huge concern. I'm sure it is for a number of other industries where uh, salespeople and otherwise are out on the road and meeting with clients uh, outside of the office setting. Um, that's what we realtors do all the time. So we meet people in coffee shops, we meet them in their homes a lot, uh, and we take them to see homes as well. So a lot of times, uh, some interesting and uh, very unsafe situations occur. I've heard a number of stories, unfortunately, mainly from my female colleagues about uh, very bad situations that they've been involved in where they've been trapped essentially by uh, people looking to purchase or supposedly looking to purchase homes and they use that as a means of getting in touch with these female realtors and putting them in a situation that is very compromising to say the least and extremely dangerous in some cases. Um, you can also use this for your children and if your children have a cell phone you can add this feature to their phone or activate it on their phone so that they can uh, get your assistance whenever they need so if they get lost um, if they are uh, put in a bad situation, possibly even abducted, um, they can use this feature. Again, it's a silent feature, so the uh, other people involved in the situation don't actually need to see the phone or hear it going off, so it can be used repeatedly. Um, if, the, uh, if you are abducted, unfortunately, or if that happens to your children, um, they can use it as they are being moved from location to location, and it will continually send this message. Um, so we're going to get into the video in a minute. I want to see we've got a bunch of people people uh, tuning in this evening, which is very cool. I really uh, enjoy that. Christine Kemp is in. I just want to thank Christine because she's actually the one that mentioned it. Melanie Piche brought this up in the Toronto 2.0 Facebook real estate group. Um, and Christine chimed in, uh, letting us know that there's an Android version. So I went immediately and looked it up on my phone. So thank you, Christine, for your help. And uh, without further ado, let's probably get started here. What's going to happen is I'll flip over. You'll see a video um, to the right side of your screen. And basically, it will be initially be the screen capture from my phone. Uh, so it's showing you how to set it up. It does go relatively quickly, so I'll go through it quickly with you as well. Um, if you need to, we can always play it again, switch back and forth. It will switch from the screen capture on my phone showing you how to set it up to a my, my camera, my Canon camera, this one right here. Uh, videotaping the uh, outside of my phone. So I'll have my phone and my son Luca's phone, which I've set up Luca as my emergency contact for this uh, example purpose here. And what I will do is when you have your phone, and you'll see this in the, in the video as well, but basically your power button is on the right hand side. If you press it three times quickly, uh, that will initiate the SOS system and send out the message and we'll show you that here as well. And then we'll switch back to my son Luca's phone so that you can see him receiving the, the message and what the message looks like. Uh, while you're watching the uh, screen capture on my phone, you're going to notice that when I get to the contact section, there's a big white rectangle. So you'll see my son Luca's name, but you won't see anything underneath it. That's for privacy reasons. I don't want you to know my son's phone number or anybody else's for that matter on my phone. Um, you will see mine there at some point but I put it out there all the time so that's fine but uh, just so you're aware when you see the screen capture you'll a big section of that contact list will be just whited out and that's the reason why there's nothing wrong with the video and you're not missing out on anything all right so we're going to switch over and as soon as we switch over we'll start talking about what's happening there so please follow along if you have any questions please feel free to type them in the comment fields there I am watching as I go um, the video, I can't really stop it as we go. Unfortunately, it's not a live
live screen capture of my phone. Um, so I will go through the entire video, I'll stop at the end, come back to this camera view here, and I'll look at the questions if any, and if I need to, I'll play the video again for you and we can go over and answer any questions. Okay, hopefully this works, fingers crossed, and here we go. So to the right of your screen, there is my Android phone, and what you need to do is find your settings button. So on mine, it is on my second screen. So in a second, I'm gonna swipe up and get into my settings. So on the left-hand side of my screen, third one up is my settings, and you need to go to the advanced settings. So the advanced features there, you click on that, and then once you're there, you can scroll around and you look up the SOS. Uh, see, send SOS message feature right there then you'll just click on that. It's fairly straightforward. Now it's default off. When you click it on, it'll say that you need to set up somebody as your contact. So you say okay, or you say add, and then I'm gonna select from contacts. So I'll just choose that. And there you go, there's my son Luca at the very top. I will click on him. I've added him as my contact. And now I just click done, and that's it. Basically you back out of your settings however you like. You can go back. I'm gonna close down the, uh, the settings feature in a second here. And it's just demonstrating there at the bottom of the screen how you activate it. So there's pressing that start button or the power button three times. So I'm going to exit from there. And now we're going to switch to the video of my two phones together. My phone will be on the left and my son Lucas' phone is on the right on the table there. So I've activated it. It says send SOS message. That's it. It's silent. Uh, but it does let you know that it's being sent. And if you hang on just a second, you'll eventually hear it go to my son's phone. Turn up the volume there. So it buzzes and it rings, which doesn't sound too loud, hopefully, but then this is what the screen looks like on my son's phone. So he's received a message at the top there. It sends actually a whole handful of messages. It sends photos, it sends audio, which I had activated, and it also sends GPS. So when I click on the messages and I go check, hey, what's happening here? And I click on my name at the top there. You'll see a bunch of the ones that are no subject. Those are the photos that it sends, but right in the middle, you'll see the SOS. You click on that and there is the GPS location of where I am. So all of those no message or um, uh, little boxes there, those were photos. My, fun, my son doesn't have his data activated at the moment, so you didn't see the photos. Um, if it was activated, you'd see a bunch of photos. It takes pictures from the front and back camera, so no matter where the camera is, um, it just automatically takes a bunch of photos and it sends them along. So it could take a picture of your face. It could take a picture of the faces of the people who you are involved with at that moment. Um, all that sort of stuff there. So that's in a nutshell how it works. It's actually pretty straightforward. Um, if you like, we'll go over it again because we've had some new people join up. So what I'm going to do is run through that video one more time. It is fairly quick, so hopefully you can just follow along. Uh, I'm not sure what the audio sounds like because I couldn't hear it here, so hopefully it's not too loud, but uh, here we go. So I'll go through that video one more time, and there it is. So there's my phone. On the Android phone, again, you're going to be looking for your settings, which is on my second screen. So in a second, I'm going to swipe up, and there's my settings, third one from the bottom on the left. And once you're in settings, you want to go to advanced features, so you click on advanced features. And then in there, you want send SOS message. So find send SOS message. On any other phone, you can just search for that function on your phone and find out what menu it's under. Once here, it's default off. So you turn it on and it tells you that you have to add a contact. So you click add. And you can create a new contact or you can select from contacts. I selected from contacts. Top of my list is my son, Luca. So I'm just adding him as an example. And then you click done. Once you click done, back out of the screen there and it goes back to here and at the bottom you can see there's a little animation telling you how to activate the SOS message. Um, so now you've got that little thing going there. If you exit out of your settings completely, so you're back to your phone. So now my phone's going to be in a locked position. So I'm going to close it so that it's password protected and it's locked. So it does not have to be unlocked for this to work. And here's a video. I just tapped the, the power button three times. It said send SOS message. And it's going to show up on my son Luca's phone within about 30 seconds or so. And it sends a bunch of messages. It sends a bunch of photos from your front and back camera. And it also sends your GPS location. So I'm going to switch to my uh, screen recording of my son's phone. And here it comes. There's a bunch of messages there. It sends four or five messages. It sends five messages in this case. 
And every time you hit that power button three times, it will redo that. It will send the five messages over and over again as many times as you want. You go in to check my messages, where the ones that say no subject, those are the photos that are being sent. Uh, he doesn't have data turned on, so you can't see the photos. But you click on the SOS and it gives you the GPS location. And that is my home office here in Bimbrook from where I sent that message. So there you go. That, in a nutshell, is how you do it. went through it twice. There's a very similar function on the Apple iOS system. Um, I don't know what it's called. I believe it's the SOS function. So within your phone, if you just search and search uh, the SOS function, if you jump onto Google, I'm sure you could find a video about how to do it. I'm going to try and... Um, uh, see if I can borrow somebody's phone or work with somebody and do a video for the the iOS or the Apple version. But that's what I have there on my Android phone. So hopefully that was helpful to you. Uh, Brian says, thanks for sharing. You're very welcome, Brian. Hopefully it comes in useful. Like I said, I know for realtors, it is a very uh, important topic. We discuss safety a lot. Um, the contact numbers you can create, it can be anybody, it could be a whole group of people. Um, so it could be your office administrator, it could be a secretary at your office, uh, in our case it could be our broker of record or a team member, um, it could be your mother, it could be the police, it could be whatever you want. Um, the 911, uh, I'm not sure how well that would work with a lot of cell phones depending on what your service plan is like and your address and everything like that. Uh, it may or may not work in your area, so I would uh, suggest looking into it in your specific area for your specific phone. Um, but if you know ahead of time uh, and you worked out ahead of time with some people that this is a system that you use, basically you can set it up and you can change it at any time. You can go back into the SOS feature, delete those contacts, add different contacts for different times. So if you're away on vacation, it could be the people that you're on vacation with. If you're uh, during work hours, it could be work colleagues. After hours, it could be friends or family. You can change it as much as you want. It doesn't really matter. And like I said, it's a silent function. So the people that... Uh, are putting that pressure on you or putting you in that dangerous situation don't necessarily need to know or see that it's happening and you can use it repeatedly you can click on that power button uh, you have to click on it on the android device three times quickly and i believe on the apple ios it might be five times quickly uh, but you just do that very quickly in succession and uh, it'll send out that message as many times as you need to and the GPS location and photos are updated every time that you send it. So uh, hopefully that was useful to you. Please uh, feel free to share this video on your Facebook profile uh, with your friends and family. Let them know how this works. I hope it's, uh, it's a free service. Hopefully it comes in. Um, well, hopefully you never have to use it. But if you do have to use it, hopefully it comes in useful. And that is about it for me tonight. That was a hopefully just a very quick chat for you. Um, I did want to let you know this is who I am. If you are looking for me online, you can find me at The Geeky Agent. Basically everywhere, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, YouTube, of course, Pinterest, and Tumblr as well. Um, if you are just, uh, this is me. This is The Geeky Agent from Remax Geek TV, but at least my version of it. And if you need to contact me directly, if you want to talk about this or any other subjects, real estate or what's happening in Hamilton, please feel free to contact me at 289-237-9896 or email me at tony at thegeekyagent.com. Um, I am online, so if you can search my website if you like, thegeekyagent.com, or if you're looking for a home in Hamilton, hamiltonlifestylesearch.com works well. And really, that's all I got to say. So I thank you all. Thank you for tuning in as always. I love you guys. I just want to help out as best as I can. And I hope you have a good rest of the night. If there's anything else I can help with, if there's certain topics uh, that you'd like me to cover, real estate or otherwise, please feel free to message me. Let me know. I'll do my best to get the information for you and put it here. Um, thanks for joining. If you're watching on YouTube, please hit the subscribe button. Hit the little notification bell so you can see when we post new videos. Keep an eye out on Facebook. We do live broadcasts, or I do live broadcasts, uh, more than a few times a week usually. Sometimes they're funny. Sometimes they're useful. Sometimes they're just there. Uh, thank you again. Tomorrow is our RAB election, so we'll find out tomorrow morning whether or not I get to become a director on the board. Hmm, that'd be kind of neat. And until then, or until I talk to you next time, I hope everything is awesome with you. I hope you have a great rest of the evening. And as always, I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.